Eve, because she's here in person, she'll give you a spanking, all right? <laughs> We're out on Reedy Creek today doing some high banking, so we thought we'd bring it to you live. We have found a spot that is giving us 20 specks of gold every single shovel. Now, Debbie's up here doing some pan. This is actually her first go of real life gold. So she's unpaid her, she's hooked, she wants to do it. So we brought it out to Reedy Creek. So she's up here panning away some concentration. And I've got everyone else, if I flip the camera around, press the button, Chris. I got everyone else down here <laughs> on the banker. Please bear in mind, this is a live stream from the bush too. So it might come through as absolute garbage quality. And uh, don't mind, don't mind the potato quality of the stream. I do apologize. <laughs> So we are running the high banker down there and that high banker is currently chewing on pay dirt that we've found in this section here. Now we have done another live session from this area where we high banked a hole over there. We found a little picker and a whole heap of lead and quite a bit of gold. Hello. <laughs> that's Connor, that's Debbie's son um, running the high banker and we've got Debbie's husband. What was your name? Brad. I completely blank there. <laughs> we got Brad on the shovel because you know he offered to be a, a laborer for the day so we took him up on it. So what we are going to do is just shovel through as much dirt as we can. Now this spot here is mostly sand with a little bit of clay and that sandy clay is giving an average of about 20 specks of pan and uh, on the top it was seven so even at that point it was pretty good. So if you have got questions guys, if you've got anything you want to know about, we will walk around and run you through it. So I'll flip the camera back around to, to my beautiful face and <laughs> we'll actually go down past the noisy pump and have a look. I hope, I hope the holiday season has treated you guys pretty well. I hope your Christmas and uh, Boxing Day were safe and pleasant and your ooh, our New Year's plans are coming along nicely. Let's have a look at this. You guys have moved some dirt. Hi, it helped. It's a lot easier. We've got, we've got old timers glass and everything in the tunnel. They've done some work. Look at this. Look at this. How's that for a tailings pile already? We're going to need to put a rock there to stop that yeah. sinking back into your hole. I can't do it. I've got no hands free. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is our, our wash plant boss, Connor. He's in charge of keeping the, the whole operation running smoothly. I'm going to call Gadzi our foreman. He's got... <laughs> there we go. Now, we'll... so we don't, want, we don't want our tailings going back into our pond. That's why we had to move that rock. But um, we should see some good gold. So I might actually get a scoop. Gadzi, give us a scoop. I'll do a pan. Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> Shay, it is warm as. It's been averaging mid-30s uh, for the last couple of weeks. We're in the shade of a beautiful gum tree, though, which helps. Oh, it's so light. I'll go down past the noisy pump, and we'll show you what kind of gold we're getting. <laughs> right. Bernie girl, that looks like a perfect place to pan. Absolutely beautiful. Right. So we had a hunch about this spot. We had a feeling that there'll be better gold deposits after our first high banking session. So we've come back and all the gold today is going to go to Deb and her family because they've made the trip down from, from Sydney to come here and, and do a bit of real world prospecting. So we're just trying to get them on it. We're also trying to give Deb a bit of a headache with the amount of black sand that she's going to have to contend with in the cleanup. I hope the quality isn't complete potato by now, but get it in the shade. 
I'm going to count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 specks of gold from a single shovel. And we've got two guys on shovels. <laughs> so that's not bad going. It's pretty damn good. Come up here. Put the gold shade so it doesn't get dehydrated. So, 21 specks from a single shovel of that sand. It's pretty good. That it looks like he's. Yeah, it's good. It's good? Yeah, that's about what I got. One shovel. Yeah, one shovel. Not bad. Not bad at all. How many shovels have you done? A lot. A lot. Yeah. Do you want to stop it? About 50 or what, maybe. Okay. 50. So 50 shovels. Between the two of us. Yep. All right. Well, let's um stop it and we'll have a look in the map because yeah, sure. it's probably going to be full of black sand anyway. Uh, yeah. Just run that last one through. Waiting for the boys. Uh, wrong one. Yeah, I know. I haven't finished the kill switch. I've just got a, a short out kill switch. Ooh, butterfly fern. Get it. Get it. Get it, fern. Go. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Right. So we're going to have a look at the map because... And we're expecting loss and stuff today. There's a lot of black sand in this area. It's very hard to run efficiently. Ooh, wow. We've got a lot of black sand in here. Like a lot. Ah. Oh. Why is everything I own just so easy to use? <laughs> How much are we losing, Dadzy? Uh, oh, one from 20, that's not bad. Yeah. I can live with one from 20. Okay, so this is what the mats look like after what the boys are saying, uh, 50 shovel run. You can see there is a fair amount of black sand in all of the riffles. So we won't do a full clean out. We'll just um, pull this pull this top mat. Yeah, here you go, Gadzi. Take over. <laughs> I see the pan. Can I, can I have a pan? Oh, you've got a pan. Yeah. That's right. It's all good. There's one closer. Going steady. <laughs> Go on, steady cam, Gads. <laughs> steady cam. Trevor, you better be moderating this. There's none of us in there. <laughs> Deb's not on. I got no reception. <laughs> Man, that's loaded. Yeah, that's a lot of black sand pretty quick, eh? But only a 50 shovel run too, like it's a small run. Yeah, I reckon we will have a fair bit in the top mat. Oh, if it's 50 shovels, like by 20 pieces, what's that? It's 2,000 pieces of gold. Yeah. That's the, that's the math. Put it in the right way, Chris. Merry Christmas, everybody, by the way. Oh, yeah. Hope you ate lots of uh, food what? and... We're going to do Christmas. We do Festivus. Festivus, yes. Get around the pole. Yep. Yeah. We're going to... We're going to get... of grievances? <laughs> yes, we're going to air our grievances. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the pole's all set up over there. It's ready yeah. to go. No the pole's in the creek. <laughs> Debbie keeps putting people in timeout. She's like, ah! Oh no, there can be, there'll be mayhem. Trev's not on the, on the stream. On the oh no. Trevor. I feel like he's flaking. 
Uh, he's probably just not wanting to see this because he'll get all sad. <laughs> he'll get all <laughs> Bernie, oi, Bernie. My face is Jasper. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. That is chunking Jasper. Ooh wee. All right. All right, let's have a look at this. So Deb, we're going to hand this off to you. So Deb's on light duty, <laughs> which means that she's our uh, gold room boss. <laughs> our gold room boss. Yeah. Well, you know, we've got the plant manager here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a gold yeah. room operator. We've got the whole team. Yeah, what's the point of bringing out a bunch of people if you don't assign them jobs? And it's we've got baby. a little fur baby here. Well, <laughs> That's getting in frame. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all going into your snuffle bottle, Deb. This is going to pay for your trip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Keep shoveling, boys. <laughs> She's keeping check on everything. Look at the flat sand and me falling over in the creek. So this isn't, this is only the miner's moss, this isn't the carpet underneath the moss. The carpet underneath, from the underneath the moss tends to hold most of the gold, so we should see a little bit in here, but not, not like a stupid amount. I can see gold. Already. I can see, yeah, it's all through it, all down here already. <laughs> oh, Deb! Might have got a little picker there. There you go. It's a nice yeah. little bit. Uh, yeah, that's uh, looking uh, Okay, so this will be better than your pay dirt uh, bag, Zeb. Oh, wow. So it's your responsibility oh, to get all nice. this clean, you know, right? Look yeah. at that. <laughs> Look at that little picker. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. So you you got to take that pan back up to your tanning station All and right. get that clean. I'll take it home. But these guys have got to keep digging. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? No, I'm He's the cameraman. No, I, no. <laughs> right, I'll dig. I'll dig you. you God. Right. Well, awesome. Getting it easy today, are you, mate? What do you think this is? Christmas or something? It's yeah. Not, this is not a democracy. Oh, okay, that's right. We're in a jail at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is hard labour. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah Our communists. Yeah, I have Leaders. Real commies, yeah. I forgot about that. Now, there's no politics here, otherwise Deb no. would be in the 300 oh, yeah, seconds. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm out. I'll be over in the bushes. Like, Can I come play now? <laughs> Bernie! Good girl. Alright. So, I'm going to just sit down and not do anything. And yeah. Oh, yeah, we're high banking down here. I'm taking it easy. Deb's taking it easy. And we'll just watch all these guys uh, <laughs> work their asses off. Um, yeah, maybe take that up there. Hey, Gibby. <laughs> it's not hot cross bun season yet. Hey, no way. No. That's the best part of Christmas. No. Just ate a chocolate one. Oh, okay. my God. Oh, give us a break. <laughs> it's about, I think about 30 degrees today, so it's nice weather. Whoa. Oh, he's taking a tumble. Gravity check. <laughs> Gravity First check. Gravity check today. <laughs> Don't worry, I do it all the time. <laughs>
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just don't see him on camera. <laughs> Sean, I, I don't understand why they do hot cross buns. It's just not right. <laughs> no. Nah. No, it's for the you're, Easter. You're a guy who eats seafood and you live four hours away from the ocean. Yeah, you well, that's different. That's the season. In our <laughs> hot cross buns are natural. There's no hot cross bun trees. They come from rabbits. Oh, yeah, okay, sure they do. <laughs> Yeah, Fern's keeping our morale up somewhere, wherever she is. <laughs> oh, she's lying in the sun. Sorry, Anthony, for the poor quality. We can't really help it. We're in the middle of the bush at yeah. the moment. Like, like potato quality. Yeah, potato quality. Yeah. yeah. It happens, guys. We live in Australia. Our internet's powered by a hamster, and we're in the middle of nowhere. The hamster's eaten too many hot cross buns, so too many prawns. Too many prawns. <laughs> this is just about the experience, anyway. Guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it will be, definitely. Cheese Vegemite hot cross buns? Oh my god! Okay, so there's a line. There, there is a line. That's it. That's, you've crossed it. Like that hot cross bun line you've crossed. Why is my show When you find coarse rocks, like you're going to dig up you're going to dig up big rocks. Occasionally you're going to dig up ones that are really rough and coarse. You have to wash them in a high banker because all the gold gets trapped in those nooks and crannies. So wash your rocks. Please yeah. start state parks cleaner than you found them. Marmite's just not right. Anyone that eats Marmite has a problem. <laughs> no. What is Marmite? It's, it's like Audi Vegemite. Yeah, it's, oh, it's the worst. Sweet Vegemite. Oh, it's beef extract. Oh, God. Marmite beef extract. Apparently. <laughs> a bull. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's ways, Chris. There's ways. Uh, nothing like I'd love to have beef beef spread in the morning for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Yum. I wake up, have a beef 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 nice glass of beef juice. Oh, yum. Now I get to sleep at night. <laughs> a hot glass of beef. <laughs> beef broth. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was almost. It was almost something. <laughs> oh! Oh, howdy do! Yeah, there we go. Smoky. That's very nice. That's why Mix taught me after many years to look at the tailings because you find cool stuff. So that just popped out. That's what the third one with the second one. Yeah, that one's a good one though. That's good. Ooh, look at that. It's a bit with a river warm, but it's clear. That's pretty good. You gotta go see how dead yeah. going. Yeah, okay. 
go and have a look see how there it is. Yeah, go align those chakras with yeah. you. Deb check. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the Deb station. Look what we just found. Mm. Gonna be cleaning up today, I think. Yeah. I've got the hard workers, that's fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I gotta do the tap right? Yeah. The magic tap. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, you yeah, bring it back in the shade. Reedy Creek's black sand. It's probably not really going to pick up. No. <laughs> there we go. In the top corner there. And that was about six handfuls out of that. Oh, out of that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on the gold, Gadsy? Oh, we're on the gold. We're on the gold. Don't worry about that. We just planted it in yeah. the creek before you guys came yeah. down. We're like, yeah, we'll just... Um, gave you five hours. Now. Yeah, we yeah. sold it at the creek. <laughs> Vegemite is beef... Is beef... In beef chew. Oh, God. Yeah. Vegemite's great in a stew. Vegemite or Marmite, what would you go? Vegemite, yeah. all the way. Yeah. Yeah. I eat it by the spoonful out of a jar. Oh, okay. I'm an Aussie, I'm an Aussie kid. Born That's a bit bread. extreme. Born and bred. Absolutely. That's the challenge, the Aussie ch challenge. Is, uh, eat a tea, it's just a teaspoonful. Teaspoon. Dip it in and then lick it yep. off the spoon. Yep. 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 Kind of like uh, Nutella, but yep. salty. <laughs> Absolutely salty. You yeah, happy being down here? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah no, it's good. Yeah. It was worth the trip. Yeah, <laughs> all the way, five hours drive down yeah. here to see us. Jeez, yeah. that's commitment. It is. Who wouldn't? It's beautiful. Look yeah. at it. It's lovely. We get to experience it real time instead of on... <laughs> on online, yeah, no, it's awesome. And not pay dirt bags, which is great. So yeah. I haven't paid for my gold today. <laughs> and we get to meet Fern wherever she's yeah. gone. Yeah, she's, she's around crazy somewhere. Yeah. Oh. This is gonna like sparkle and like and it's pretty damn cool. So yeah, no. you can see the seat where a crystal at some point was. It's completely smooth and flat. So when you get crystals that got those flat sides, you know that they were sitting in that host drop like that. Oh, wow. So I just spotted that right where this crystal was, so I thought maybe, maybe it popped up. It might be a giant crystal cave down there and we'll fall into it. And... I'd be okay with that. How are you <laughs> doing your clean up there? Yeah, good. Yeah. I did about six handfuls out of that and grabbed about maybe you ten steps. What are you doing with that? Yeah. yeah. So you... Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you see the gold. Yeah, no. I mean, Do you want a gold room operator? I, I had to finish up what I was doing. <laughs> People are debating about Marmar and this tonight at the moment. Marmite and Vegemite rage. All right. That feels like it's come out of that. That's what I said. It came from it's exactly the same spot. That's a pretty close fit if you look at the. I think it. I don't think it is because see the angles yeah. are different. Like the angles, the, whatever crystal was sitting in this is much, much bigger, bigger than that one yeah. because the angles are coming off. That's really too cool. hard. Yeah, but what are you doing, gold room operator? Oh, Look I at all the to gold empty my other pan. I'll that. empty them for you. Hang on. Right. I put them through the eye banker. <laughs> oh, yeah, take oh, away your distractions. Oh, Throw the pay dirt back down there. Oh, can't even, can't hire good help these days, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, that's heavy. Oh, no. ah. <laughs> yep, we're getting rid of that because we've got, we got her a real job now. <laughs> that's all right, we're going to keep... That's only, that is only the top piece of miner's that's moss. Not, moss. Yeah, so you've got the entire sluice mat to go. Wow, check that out. <laughs> yeah, Antio, Antio, I can't pronounce your name buddy, I'm sorry. The, the 130 P quality, it's, uh, it is what it is, man. I'm sorry. It's, uh, how it rolls here. Mm -hmm. 
What I'm going to do guys is I'm going to just set the camera up on the tripod for a bit and then we're just going to dig and then we'll come back in a minute. Now I found that if you leave the camera not moving for a while, uh, the quality can come back. So we're just going to set you guys up. And you're going to... Shh, they don't know that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll go over here and I'll pretend like I'm helping. Uh, Jonathan, it's only about 30 degrees at the moment. It's not that hot. Yeah, it's actually, there's some air in, like, wind, at least, like, air. There's yeah. air! <laughs>
Technically, it's child labour. <laughs> yeah, well. So, um, Tassie Boys was going to come and meet up with us at one point, but because of all the, um, the COVID coming out and everything, we missed out on actually hanging out with him. So, hopefully we'll see him um, soon. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. They're still saying it's not that good. Yeah. Can't do much about it. So, there's a small possibility that we're on bedrock down there. I keep like skimming my shovel along a really long, hard uh, rock. I don't think it's that big. How much are we losing? One. Oh, one still. Two. Two. Bloody hell. That's a decent speck, though. Yeah, that could come off with clay, though. Yeah, true. Two specks from 20. That's not bad. That's yeah. like, what, five? No, it's a 10% loss rate? Yeah. With this black sand, that's not too bad. Whoa! Yeah, gravity check! Oh, gravity check! <laughs> Scrapman 50, dredging has been illegal in Australia since 1991 uh, because I would love a suction dredge. <laughs> but you can't do it. Not allowed. Sorry. That's good. So we're averaging 20 specks of shovel from out of there. And we're losing one in our tailings, one to two. That is pretty good. English Prospector, it's a good thing to do. Like, it's a lot of fun. That mat is looking particularly black, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of black sand in that mat. Hey guys, we might have to clean it out. Yeah, because yeah, the mat looks black from here. <laughs> it's, it's full. It's full.
Hả? He's got to figure out which wire it is. Can he do it? Yay! <laughs> oh my word. Okay, Debbie, I hope you got your pan and skills on because that's a, fuck, that's a lot of black sand. That's a lot. <sighs> like, that's a lot, a lot. That's not, that's not a little bit. That's a lot of black sand. I, I could. Luckily, I don't have to. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. I know it's 130p, but hopefully you can at least still see color. Because <laughs> that is absolutely loaded with black sand. That is ridiculous. Like, we already just cleared this out as well, and we're talking that that is full. I'm trying to see. There is gold up here too. Fine, fine pieces of gold. Alright, full clean out. Full clean out. Gonna give you a very important job. <laughs> that is like the most important job on the gold field. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Scrapman 50, yes, Yabby Pump is like a suction dredge. The nuance in it is the language used in the law. Mechanical excavation is the thing that you have to remember. We are not only allowed to use anything that has a motor attached to it to dig the dirt. Processing is fine because the processing is actually done via gravity uh, and not mechanical, um, not mechanical means. So the pump is only pumping water to the high banker and then gravity is moving all the dirt through the sluice. If I use that pump to wash that dirt through the sluice, I would be digging with the pump. And that's why we can use yabby pumps is because it's not a mechanically driven tool. It's a hand operated tool. So we're allowed to use any hand tools. I'll trade you. Hopefully that's clear. If you've got questions about that, ask because I'll um, answer them. A bikes, bicycle powered pump. Mechanical. <laughs> uh, is it? Yeah, because it's not a hand tool. It's man it's powered. Tool. <laughs> I don't know. Someone actually suggested that. Theoretically, you could get away with it. How's that for a bit of tourmaline? Ooh, look at that. It's a nice little chunk. You're getting everything here. Yeah, that's a good little spot, eh? Look at the black sand. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that, but it is shockers full of black sand. It is full. I think it's going to be a good one. Oh, Trevor's on here. Oh, Trevor. 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 You have to moderate, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're, we need to get a cardboard cut out of Trev so he can still still sort of be part. You know what? I'm okay with that. We yeah. need to get a cardboard dry cut out of Trev <laughs> just, just for festive reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone needs a cardboard we'll cutter. Just break him out of birthdays and stuff. <laughs> we should sell him in my shop. <laughs> sell Trev. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be part of the merch store. Yeah. Trev. <laughs> own your own Trev today. Oh, yeah. Trev mannequin. Now there we go. I like that idea. A, a Treviquin. A Treviquin. <laughs> <laughs> It's always a good sign when you got gold at the back of the. Oh, the back of the yeah, pan. that's a fantastic sign. A Trevicwin. Yeah, there's no. You can't dredge in any kind of way. <laughs> You're not allowed to. No. Nah. Outside of what you've seen me do, which is using a Yabby pump. <laughs> a Furniquin. Yeah, cardboard yeah. cut out of the fern. I'm, I'm okay yeah. with that too. I can arrange that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, We're going to get a cardboard cut out of Trev, Deb. Oh, I just got um, surprised by a spider. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. 
<laughs> See the Show wild, everybody the nature of the Australia. The wildlife oh. of Australia is not that bad. I don't need that much. No. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's frightened to be because he jumps out of nowhere. Nah, it's a solid rock. The measure of Australia, we think that thing is a dead weed. Yeah, it's not, yeah. not that big, really. It's my pet. Oh, you're going to have fun painting this out, Deb. Mm. So quartz rocks, when you've panned everything else off, sitting at the bottom, are always worth a look because sometimes there's big hunks of gold sitting on them. Not in this case. So more uh, concentrates to go to the gold room so we can actually see all the gold at the end of the day. Now, 133p is probably not going to show up the gold very well but we'll, we'll try unless we find a giant nugget yeah unless we find a giant 133p so quality nugget there. there's a lot of gold in that oh my god have you can you see that gold gadget yeah Coming i can see here. the gold so this is a terrible wow. reveal so that's a nice line of gold just there uh, probably not the shadow dead i reckon because the full light will that's the gold. Look at this bit. Yeah, it's all through the black sand too, all through it. So, Ooh, Sweet. yeah. Thank you, man. <laughs> I haven't finished the other lot yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not gonna, you've got all that to go yet. Have a look at that. Uh, <laughs> nice. Look at the black sand. Actually, I gotta wash that out into you. Yeah. yeah. Look at the spider at the end of the sluice. At the high banker. He's saying, hey. Move. Go. Did I hear Trev's on? Hey Trev. Yeah, Trev's on. He's been Mr. Moderator. Oh, uh, someone has to work hard today, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. If Wait. we didn't have Trevor, chaos wouldn't too... What's he doing over there? Jesus. Ben. Right. Get rid of the blonde sand. Give it to Deb. <laughs> Trev hasn't pocket ba pocket banned anyone yet. Oh. He's doing a good job. Good. I can't pocket ban anybody. I haven't got reception. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like a pocket ban. Accidental bans from the pocket. <laughs> That's what he says. Yeah, he's, I don't like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh man. No, you can't use a vacuum cleaner either. It's a, me a mechanical device. So for excavating. For ex Just think about this. If it's not moved by your own two arms while you're digging, it's not legal. That's the easiest way to make uh, make it clear. It has to be a tool that you use with your own two hands and it's not powered by any other source other than your fleshy body. <laughs> <laughs> that black sand is... Nasty. Ah, uh, yeah. That's not going to be easy. No sorry. It's only illegal if you get caught. Um, <laughs> well, so is most things. Yeah, <laughs> and the problem is I have like 400,000 followers across a couple of different platforms, so I'm pretty sure I'd get caught. <laughs> yeah, well, we've just got black sand. Yep, that's um, that's some tin. <laughs> Oh There's God. no way I'm going to be able to show you gold through that. That is just a nightmare. Look at that. There's some nice flakes in there. There's a couple of really good flakes that have come down. Yeah, there's there's not going to be a line of gold, guys. It's just all through that black sand. Yeah. There's like a tiny little bit of it that you're probably not going to be able to see on 133p. All right, Deb. Yeah.
These guys are a good luck charm. Yeah, that's a good. There's, I would estimate there's half a gram in that already, plus what you got in the first clean out. So there you go. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, a bit of tourmaline. A little chunk of tourmaline there. Well worn, worn. That's that really well worn. Yeah. Getting everything, crystals. Bernie, yeah. up, 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 up. Yeah, Bob. Good girl. Yeah. Oh my God, so fast. Oh, you are so clever. Come on. Come over here. Jump for snackos. Yeah, good girl. Snackos. All right, we're going to... All right, gold room. gold room. Back in the gold room. All right, yes, boss. <laughs> Oh, she, she can't get them. That's the thing. She gives them or she doesn't. <laughs> if you've got liver treats, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah there's no harm in trying. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just stop here. <laughs> in the water. Uh, yeah, in the water. Oh, yeah. No nuggets. No nuggets. If you do have questions, guys, just ask them, right? Like, because now's your opportunity. I, it's a lot easier for me to answer a question in detail now than it is for me writing back to you on one of the platforms. So if you've got them, now's your time. Oh. <laughs> How did our, the paid the jar sale go? Yeah, pretty good. We got to meet heaps of people. Yeah. Um, and we had what, 20 or so people there? Uh, 20, 30 maybe. Yeah. So There's a fair few people. Let's say 25 people. There was a fair few people there. It was really cool. Some people had traveled all the way from the other side of Melbourne, like from everywhere, from all over the shop. And, it was good to meet a bunch of people, you know? It's nice to put faces to names of subscribers that have been there for years. We met some people that have only just sort of jumped on in the last few months. So uh, it's a rare opportunity that I get to do that. And it, it helps me a lot because you guys get to see me all the time and I just don't get to see the people watching other than your screen names. So putting faces to those names and the conversations I've been having for years was excellent. And I'm sure that the people who bought the jars are now struggling with them because they are at least 50% black sand. <laughs> I saw someone ask a question. Um, what was the worst thing that you've seen in the bush that just made you say no? Nah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. um, I found bags of human hair in the middle of the bush. <laughs> way out in the middle of the bush as you do <laughs> and I um and the bags were heavy when I picked them up yeah. and when I opened the top I saw the hair and I noped out real quick yeah. and left I was like no nope, not having none of that I was armed I was hunting at the time I was like yeah <laughs> might have been a yowie could have been a yowie Just... so yeah that's the worst thing I've ever found in the bush <laughs> probably an unsolved murder mystery right cup time Yeah, Ken, um, if you keep on talking politics, Trev will ban you, so <laughs> don't get go there. We don't talk about it. We're here to prospect and have a good time, and that's what we're doing. So yeah, on that whole politics thing, a lot of people ask me questions about it and I want to address it really clearly. And we've got to do it in the live streams. I think it's important. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world uh, for the last couple of years and there are a lot of different opinions and there's a lot of stuff that is sort of up in the air. So I understand the need and necessity to talk about it. I completely get it. Absolutely, completely get it. 
fuck. This is not the place for it. And the, here's the reason why. We spend 24 hours a day being bombarded by information. We get 24 hours a day bombarded by news and social media feeds and just more information than we can handle. This, I want to turn into a place that you can come and chill out for 10, 15 minutes watching a video or read some of my posts on Facebook and, and maybe learn something educational or get a laugh or get some insight into something. And so when people come here and they want to talk about world events that are going on currently, I get it, I get it, because it's been in our face for two years. But that's not what this place is about. If you want to do that, there are so many places you can go and talk to like-minded people about that. And that's absolutely fine. I have no problem with any of that at all. And I completely encourage you to participate in those debates uh, and, and to engage in those arguments because that's flexing a level of freedom and democracy that is so super important in human history. This just isn't the place for it because this is where I want people to come to chill and relax and have a good time. So I hope that makes sense. It's not that I'm against it, it's just that I want to offer that opportunity to people. <laughs> Hey, Mad Marlin, 999 Super Chat. Thank you very much, bro. Bernie, Mad Marlin just bought you snacks. He did. Look. Yeah. You gonna say thank you? <laughs> Good girl, Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell my boy Jackson nothing is free? Work for it. Yeah, well, it's true. If you want something in life, man, you gotta get out there and get out after. I was talking to Deb about this on the way in today. And that is that your thoughts are actions. Your thoughts are actually physical actions within your brain, whether that's chemical or um, electrical signals that are going off. And if you aim those actions towards misery and sadness and, and not achieving your goals, you'll never reach your goals. You won't get there in the end. You have to think about what you want to achieve. And what will happen is slowly but surely you'll take more physical steps towards achieving those goals. Nothing in this world comes for free. Nothing. You have to go out and work for it. Even the most basic stuff. <laughs> AC Snyder. I use... Uh, uh, these are called Alida footwear. So they're shoes designed specifically for the creek. I've had this pair of Alida shoes now for about four years. And they are brilliant. I think they only cost about 40 bucks, so that's the ones that I use. I used to have a discount code for them, but they don't they haven't been sending them to me anymore. So <laughs> maybe they didn't like my videos. I don't know, but I don't have a discount anymore. <laughs> Robert, high five right back at him, bro. Uh, ben, that is a 10-inch high banker, correct, uh, but it is made from a local bloke. His name's Trevor Worthington. I think he has a, he now has a page up where he sells all the equipment he makes called Trev's, Trev's Gold or something. Uh, you'll find him on the Northeast Victoria prospecting, a uh, gold prospecting page. He often puts posts up there if you're interested in the solutions that he makes. They're pretty good. They're pretty solid unit. We've had this for four years now and nothing's worn out on it. We've hammered it, dropped it, run it over, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> uh, ben, the size of the pump, I don't know. It's a two inch pump. Uh, it's a two inch, two horsepower, I believe, uh, pump. So uh, it's just literally on idle at the moment. So it does a good job. Yeah, bro. No, four years. I can't believe these shoes are four years old and I use them every season. Brent, we need someone from Venezuela to answer that question because I don't know. <laughs> Mad Marlin, don't you know what water shoes are? Where do you live? Do you live somewhere cold? That would explain that question. So water shoes are just shoes that drain. I'll show you these a bit closer. See how it's mesh on top and it's also got drainage holes on bottom. Push it up to 
Houston, Texas. You should know all about water shoes. Hot there. <laughs> Rodney, Dazzy, what's going on, bro? Over the stream. Oh yeah, Scrapman 50. So sand. You know what? It, you know what it actually is. Um, it, the, <laughs> the sand goes into your shoes to pumice your feet. It's our beauty treatment. Uh, Daryl, yeah, bro, it's still live. You're normally on my uh, gaming streams. This is a little early for a live. Speaking of which, if you guys are interested in that, I do have a channel where we live stream gaming. I swear a lot. I get killed a lot. Sometimes I win and get really excited about it. So if you'd like to come and join me in all that sort of shenanigans, uh, 89X Gaming on YouTube. English Prospector, yes, I have. I even made a video of it. <laughs> I I panned out my shoes. It's a bit hit and miss. I find more more gold in the back of my car from where I dump all my gear. Shane Williams, yeah, I play Call of Duty and Battlefield primarily, but Gadzi just got me a game which I, I just did the tutorial for, which I'll be streaming because it looks sick. It looks, yeah, Deathloop. Oh my god, that game looks good. I played the tutorial, man, and um, it's like it's like the old school Mario. You have a set number of lives, and then yeah. if you die, you start back at the very beginning with nothing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I didn't know that it's like you have to go backwards. Yeah, it's sick. It's oh, real cool. Yeah. Robert, I would love to come back over uh, and hang out with Paulie. Again, like you said, it's just all the COVID laws. It's too bloody confusing. We're just going to have to wait for everything to settle down. Everyone's predicting like 2024 before things are about normal. So, but I will definitely be doing that. I've actually got a plan with a mate of mine um to jump onto a plane and head over to new zealand and do a little bit of a road trip because we can easily travel to new zealand so if there are any uh new zealanders watching this who have gold in their area and like to have me out please get in contact with me because it's something i'd like to sort of organize oh justified jester thank you for giving me a new hobby watch your videos through the last lockdown no worries buddy sorry for uh Sorry for getting you addicted to the gold. <laughs> it can be a very expensive hobby. Uh, Ten dollars super chat too. Thank you so much. Age yeah, side definitely sounds like two word oh. summary of Edge of Tomorrow. Actually, that's a pretty damn good. Yeah, it is that. That is literally it, man. It's it's a fun game too. It's kind of like Borderlands. Uh, the the movement style and the graphics are very Borderlands-ish. If you know what Borderlands is, so I am looking forward to that. I'm gonna go up and see what Ned's doing. These guys are washing rocks. I've got to get them to get gold. It's like they forget what they're here for. I know you are. There's no way you wouldn't be. <laughs> Look at that. She's thick. So I'm just panning a little bit back to the bottom. Yep. And then I'm just washing it slowly off the bottom. Yeah, way. cool. Just so I can just keep an eye on it. You're sure going to have to keep it. all of that, eh? Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. And just a little bit at a time. Yeah. And then what are you doing? Sucking up into your stuff a bottle or? Uh, not yet. No. Nah. You're, not, you're not that far yet? No. Nah. It's just so much black sand. Try... The uh, garnets are ridiculous. Try using the edge of your pan like I do on the live stream cleanups. Yeah, yeah. Because it will be a lot easier than doing this. The problem that you're going to have is that the water... You can't control the water as easily when it goes up over the top and pulls it down yeah. as you can when it flows into the pan. You have more control over how much water comes Absolutely. into the pan as opposed to how much goes over the top. There was less in there, it'd be easier. Yeah, I mean, you're not losing anything either, right? Like, it's all just going to be in this pan, so it doesn't matter. But we're going to watch you. 
see if we can get some. We keep looking. Try, try the swirl method. So, for those of you who don't know about this swirl method, if you hold the pan flat, then gently tilt it away from you and start making circles with the water, and then roll that angle around, and what happens is it tends to concentrate the gold on the back edge. There we go, so we're starting to see some now. So, might be hard, but... You can see how it starts concentrating it on the back edge. It works really well for uh, not sluice concentrates. Oh, it's floating. Yeah, it's floating everywhere. My God. It's crazy. You're going to have the best time cleaning this up. Yeah. Oh, Deb is also the creator of the fern shirt, by the way, that's in my merch shop. The Kraken. <laughs> it's what we call fern because she's an, she's an absolute monster. So, yeah, that's uh, Debbie's artwork. Look at that. Floating. Yeah, yeah. So gold floats. If you don't know about that, guys, I'll see if I can even pick it up. I can't. I've got the reflection in there. It's not working. Oh well. Oh man. All right. Whew. Back down to the guys. Make sure they're still working and digging up. Pay dirt like they're meant to be. Good girl, fern. You keeping them in a line? Look at the grass seeds on your face. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really just trying to fix it down there because I really need to. It's officially shiny and I'm far back. Hire an excavator, Ken. Man, I freaking love to hire an excavator. <laughs> That'd be one bucket. Oop, done. You can, uh, Ooh. That's different. Pan. Pan, pan, pan. Okay, test pan time. There's gold in that. Can you oh, yeah. can you tip that into the sluice for me, please? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, snap it up quickly. You, well, it'll get caught in the mat. And it will just come out in the cleanup. Oh. All right. Oh, slider. Oh, <laughs> was it just underwater? Huh? It was just underwater. Yeah, they they get little oxygen bubbles around their heads. Oh, that's and then they can go around underwater. <laughs> Look at that. There's little crystals in that and everything. Oh, I reckon you're on the bedrock there. Does it feel like it? No, no, there's another big rock there. There's, there's a lot more rock around this side. Yeah. Are you getting are you getting full shovels of that or only a little bit? Uh, yeah. yeah. I can feel it. See, these rocks have been underwater for a long time. You can just tell by the colour and how smooth they are. Oh, look at, look at that. Rescue these two bits. Yeah, that's fresh bedrock, man. Gadzi, you're sitting on fractured bedrock. Yeah. That's fresh bedrock. Thank you. Do you want to do a pad? Yeah, sorry to throw a shovel into that. Who knows, we might be on an out spot. Okay, just going to set you guys up, hang on. Oh, come on, unlock screw. <laughs> there we go. So, for those of you who haven't thrown a live stream before or haven't heard you talk about it, it's really important that you test pan as you dig, because gold gets put into the ground in layers. It doesn't 
it doesn't just form in a big deposit all the way through. Sometimes those layers can be like a couple of centimetres thick, sometimes they're several metres thick, it just depends. And if you don't test pan and you keep shoveling the dirt, what ends up happening is you punch through the pay layer where you were getting good gold, you dilute it with worthless or low grade dirt and you don't get a good cleanup. There's no point burning petrol and energy on a spot that has no gold. Oh, oh yeah, that's more of that rock, eh? Yeah. Last time. Burn! Oh my god. What are you doing? Get out. <laughs> oh, you're on a rock in the middle of the creek and it's just like, oh, I'll just bump into the camera, it's fine. One shovel test pan. Let's see how we go. Oh yeah, man, it's the same. Exactly the same. So, yeah. We're talking ten-ish bits. We found a crystal cluster. Yeah. That's going all line on your chakras. <laughs> there you go, tip, tip that into it. Alright, sorting this tripod out guys. <laughs> we are the inventor of the eye stick, right there. Bernie, you want to tell the people, you want to tell the people when the eye stick will be available? When's it going to be available? How much? What features does it come with? <laughs> English Prospect at 2.30 a.m. Yeah, okay, we'll let you go this time. <laughs> Do you want to stop and look? So we have to stop regularly with this. Just, just hold off a sec, man. We've got to stop regularly because the amount of black sand that's in here, if we fill it up too much and the black sand compacts down, we lose gold. Oh, she's a little full. There's still a lot of light gravel mixed with it. Yeah, no, that needs to be cleared. Yeah. Yeah. Feel the, um, feel the ripples. Yeah, they're dense. So we don't mind if when we touch the riffle our finger sort of sinks into it like a gooey substance because what that means is that there's enough um, uh, agitation within the cells to allow the, the gold to sink through. But unfortunately, they have packed down on us. And so we have to do a clean out. Gadzi can do a clean out. Yay! Yay! That's a lot of black sand. Oh yeah, it's certainly If we were mining tin, we'd be so rich. <laughs> How, 20, let's do the maths on this. It's $22,000 a ton for refined tin. If half that mat's tin, which I think we could safely assume it would be, what, what is it a kilo? 22,000 a ton. A whole wheel of your cheese. Huh? No, so it's twenty twenty two thousand dollars per ton. How much for a kilo? Like twenty twenty two bucks, yeah? Yeah. So the average sluice mat's probably about two kilos. So it's about twenty two dollars a sluice mat, we, we would estimate. That's alright. Guys, we should keep the tin. Yeah. <laughs> Then we can go buy some Miller with cheese. Oh, <laughs> we still haven't got Miller with cheese bloody on board. Everyone tag Miller with cheese, please. <laughs> <laughs> Share it. Can everyone just, like, I'm not even joking. Can everyone go onto Miller with Cheese's Facebook page, open up their messenger, and send them this live stream and say that we want a Miller with Cheese sponsorship? We really want that. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey Buffalo, your first live that you've made it for? Good stuff. Did I do the whole lot? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so, man. In one day. Yeah. Oh, we can check that. We can check that mat, I'll man. Check the yeah. Mat, yeah. Do the grass too in that case, because that gra that piece of grass there will have a bit of gold in it. <laughs> Black label. Good night, buddy. Sweet dreams. I hope you dream of Miller with cheese. <laughs> Channeling Miller with cheese. <laughs> One of these clean outs, we'll go up there, we'll get up to Deb, and Deb will be like, look at all the gold I've recovered. <laughs> no pressure, Deb. No pressure. You won't have to order in-room entertainment. You'll just be, the hotel... No, uh, the hotel's going to be like, come in there, there's going to be sand and mud and all sorts of stuff all over their benches. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Show me a nugget, Gadsy. I'm not asking for much. Just an ounce Oh yeah, look at that black sand. Crazy. She's thick just in that area. Like that wasn't, a, none of these have been large runs. Nah. Like I've pumped through two, three hundred shovel runs and not seen that much black sand in some spots. I can see gold there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's coming out of the edge. Yeah, don't go anymore, man, because it's just going to float off over the top. All right. Come on, Milloa. You want some of this action, Milloa. You do. <laughs> I swear, I can see it. It's all through it. Yeah, it's starting, so again, I know it's 133p and not very good quality, but there's a line of gold all the way along the top that's just very fine. It's coming down through here, so... Yeah. Yeah, I think Deb's going to be in for a good payday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I found out from the meet and greet that um, they use quartz crystals in radios. Yeah. I didn't know that. Look at that. That's not bad. That is not bad. Try and maybe get it all in the shade. Hopefully you can see some of that grainy gold. Hopefully. It's in there. It's in there, Gadzi. <laughs> it's pretty easy digging. Oh, yeah. Like, that's it's not... Well, this is not hard. This is not hard. This is not hard work. That well, not says the guy hasn't really been digging much. But the, the ground here is a lot easier than what it was over here. So the last time we dug, we dug this hole out here, and that hole was difficult. Right, like, all these big rocks were in it, and it was just a nightmare trying to get down. But like this has been primarily sand with just a few. Like this is our coarse tailings. Just a few little few little chunky rocks and it's mostly been just this sand and glass that we put under the high banker. Yes. He's cleaning, cleaning. Gadzi's cleaning. Brent, it's not an obsession. I'm just stalking them. It's okay because they don't know about it. 
And if they just gave me a sponsorship, I'd leave them alone. Yeah. Or oh, dare. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, the dare said no. We asked. Oh. Dare said no. And therefore, they've lost my respect. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Mate. I mean, I still drink You're it. You're not talking for me. I still drink it. I just, I'm not actively going to promote them. I'm like Miller with cheese. <laughs> Unless they say no. <laughs> sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm not paying attention reading. Reading um, comments, can you take a test pan from the old hole? Uh, we could, but we had a flood, so it's actually been backfilled by loose gravels and stuff, so it would be a little bit hard to get to where the pay layer was. There was more, there was another question. Oh yeah, you need more mats to keep the rate up. Yeah, 100% mate. So normally a long tom setup would be, would be ideal in this area. And we could do a few things with the sluice. We could increase the angle a little bit, which is what I'm thinking we might do just to make sure we seem to get a good retention rate, so I'm willing to increase that loss a little bit for better uh, capability of it cleaning itself out, self, so the cells stay self-cleaning so we can run longer. There's a lot of stuff we could do, but honestly, today is just about having a bunch of people out and enjoying it, right? So we're not here for massive production. We're just in a good spot where we're getting okay gold, and that's what it's about, about coming out and having fun. We know Deb's probably going to get like half a gram or more already from what we have cleaned out. Night, Douglas. Good luck tomorrow. Two feet of snow in Thunderberry, Canadian land. Two feet. Yeah, Thunderberry, what a name. Thunderberry, go! <laughs> they fly off in maple syrup bottles. Piney <laughs> 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 yeah. Paulie needs a maple syrup sponsor. Actually, Vegemite, why aren't we contacting Kraft? That's a good, that's a good point. Look at him carefully panning over there. He's such a good protege. <laughs> yeah, well, Fernie's going to keep you in alignment. She's got that thing pointed in your general direction too. That's a threat. She's a skunk. Nah, man, scrap man, Piney Paulie would not have an opportunity to snipe here, and I don't know how else to describe this. Can you see how murky this water is? And this is the clear running stuff. If you went down and tried to snipe, all that's going to happen is the silt and the clay is going to stir up like it is in this hole, and you won't be able to see a thing. We know because we've tried. On top of that, the way Paulie is fanning and the way he's trying to get gold out of uh, bedrock sections like this is too aggressive the gold here you got to remember is like one fiftieth of an inch or under for most of it and that means that it's very difficult to even spot uh, because not only is it small it's sitting on a honey colored bedrock so good luck i've had him over here and i'm gonna i'm gonna um, i'm gonna bring him out and he wants to snipe and i'm like all right bro i'll take you to the best sniping spot i can we'll see how you go <laughs> It's just geology. You can't fight it, right? This is why we use pans and high bankers primarily. Ken, thank you very much, buddy. Have a cold beer on. 50 bucks? Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beers are on Ken, guys. Just quietly, Ken. It's going to be Jack Daniels. <laughs> I can see gold from here. It's so thick. Yeah, it's that real fine stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll give it to Deb. She can clean it up. I don't think there was that much in the lower mat. Nah. The there hasn't really been too much in that lower mat. Every time I've cleaned it out, it's more or less a safety net. The top, like, five inches of matting seem to catch most of it. All right, well... You're going to take that up to Deb? Yeah. yeah. And we'll get this put back together somehow. All right. Uh, that's the mat I need. One hand mat operation. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's the wrong way. That way. There we go. Eh. 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 Oh man, the skill of doing this one hand, that's um something I haven't done before. Yay! Uh, this one. Alright. And that one. Alright, I'm gonna leave the these to you. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on Deb's progress because I wanna see I wanna see how much gold she's managed to recover. Remembering that she's only ever done pay dirt before this. Are you coming to check out my work? Of course! Uh, I don't know. You're the apprentice. Plus, yeah. The apprentice gold room. Um, yeah, look, that's what I'm down to. Yeah. Oh, so is that all of it from that last that clean-up? No, that was the top mat. That's the top mat from That's the last clean-out. I'm still yep. doing the top mat. <laughs> clean out. But yeah, that, doing that from the front's heaps better. Yep. Yeah, it's easier, isn't it? Yeah, much. And, and you remember, you're doing this unclassified as well, so that's why you see me classify on my yeah. live streams, because it's just too difficult. And otherwise. if I see any sneakies, I'm just snuffering them up. Yeah. It's just easier to snuffer them as I go. So I'm just kind of shaking a little bit and just washing them off the front. Gadzi's he's walking around all bamboozled. He's lost. What are you, what are you doing, Gadzi? Oh, no. oh, no. It's a beautiful day. The breeze has come up. It is. Mayhem prospecting. Should we fly to Tassie and go hang out with Levi? That'd be fun. That'd be great. Could you imagine sniping that? Might have to go on the Spirit of Tasmania, though, so I can take Fern. Yeah. I could take her on an aeroplane, but I don't know how she'd go. Just not, the way over. Just, yeah, just go across the bass. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the bass straight for an Aussie, yeah, right? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, oh, easy as. Yeah. yeah. I do that for swimming weekend swimming. Weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this big chunky bit that keeps sneaking up. Yeah, just suck it up. I'm going to. Yeah. Good. That is a nice bit. They even might be able to see that on camera. Ho oh, ho. We're doing good. <laughs> I'm, doing more, I'm doing it left handed. More water, Deb. No! Oh, it's in the black sand. Yeah, that's alright. I'm doing that left handed. Oh, I don't know. I don't I know. I, know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to give the camera back to Gadzi and have a drink. And then uh, turn the high banker on and we're going to start solution again. Oh, I got the camera. You got the camera. Woo! Yeah, shake that money maker. <laughs> It's not a free throw, that's a sample. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. My only fan link is in the description. <laughs> We've just been demonetized now. Yeah, well, I bet we have. <laughs> oh, I'm MVP. Mm. Most valued prospector. Yep. Yeah. 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 Most bogus prospector. That <laughs> <laughs> Most bogus prospector. Deb, we need a shirt. Okay. <laughs> we need it to say MVP. Most bogus or most, most valued prospect. I don't know. Which one's that? <laughs> too sexy for Miss Specs. <laughs> ah, man, man. Too sexy for my I'm too uh, sexy for my specs. <laughs> so sexy it hurts. Where's my dog? Your dog is... Come on. And... Bernie, watch! Heel! She gets distracted chasing butterflies. Fern! I'll go find her. She'll only be in the bushes somewhere. She was just around there before.
A water vacuum? Help. You mean a dredge? <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'll just put the camera down and I'll get the high banker rolling again. I've got to connect it first. <laughs> <laughs> Might help if I actually connect the hose. Yeah, just put it down a bit there. Oh, no, put those feet up. Yeah. Can yeah, yeah. you just hold that for a sec? Got a hive anchor running. Chris has gone trying to find a uh, fern. We'll get going in a second. There she is. Ah. All right. Um, I'm a dig. Dig? All right. I'm just going to sit down for a while and read people's comments, okay? Yeah, that over there, that bit there, that's where the clay stuff is. We had to turn up the pump a bit because it was running a bit too slow. We're starting to hit clay material so it's a bit, um, yeah, it's a bit hard to run it through. Uh, T, we're in Victoria, uh, northeast Victoria, uh, on Reedy Creek. Yeah, sorry about the bad internet. It's, uh, it's very, very slow. Um, like where we are, we're in the middle of the bush, so you're not going to get good reception here. It's not about the quality, it's about the adventure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jas Jasmine, uh, 
not every creek skull bearing, it just depends on the geology. Uh, this creek is known for having lots of gold in it. Um, it's more fine gold, but yeah, there's always going to be gold in this creek. There, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Stay there. Yeah, I don't trust Uh, we haven't actually found, on this creek, the gold um, comes actually from the, uh, the granite itself. It's, it's not actually a reef. It's one of the only creeks in the world that actually has it shedding from granite. Up to four grams a ton. Yeah, up to four grams a ton. Thank you, Ping Jiminy, or whatever your name is. <laughs> Ping the, yeah, Ping Jiminy, or whatever your name is, um, for the donation. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, like and share this stream if you can. That'll really help us out. Yeah, it's a meal of cheese, send it to them. And Vegemite as well. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Bad, <laughs> bad as all this stuff. <laughs> you found a 0.28 um, nugget wow. the other day. Yeah. Jasmine, yeah, as it does gold shed, does gold shed other than quartz? No. That answers your, your question. <laughs>
Dude, look at that. I'm on a boat and I'm going back. We've, we've moved heaps of material and we're still not down at the bedrock yet. We're getting good Ooh, gold the yeah. whole way through. Um, so yes, yep. We're going to do a test band. I hope there wasn't any gold in that. Oh well. well. That, that bedrock. This bedrock hasn't been dug in such a long time, it's decayed. So you don't get fresh cracked white bedrock like that here unless it hasn't been cut before by its sun or anything. As soon as time it gets to change its colour. So maybe we're in a really good spot. Yeah. Maybe. Kind of getting tweaks on the screen, man. Uh -huh. Kind of getting tweaks on the screen at the moment. Uh, well, well. I don't know if it's just the reception, but. Yeah. Uh, no. Our luck has run out. One piece. It's not deep, it's a flood deposit. Well, we don't need to go to bedrock, that's good. <laughs> Alright, turn you guys around. Bam! Alright, well, it looks like the uh, stream is starting to... is starting to, <laughs> to glitch out. This looks like a flood deposit. So it's accumulating in layers of flood sands. We hit the bedrock bottom, there wasn't much gold. One flake and one nano dot. So we don't need to go to bedrock, we can hunt some of those higher layers. We don't need to dig as deep. That's a good thing. With the way that the stream is looking, I am probably going to call it there just because it's glitching out and I'm starting to get overheating warnings from my phone. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone who came onto the stream and joined us out on the creek today. It means the world to me that you'd be here. I hope I have answered some of your questions and you've gained a little bit more knowledge. I will make more little videos and whatnot uh, of the full cleanup from this and how much gold we get. Guys is pointing at me for some yeah. reason. Thanks to Deb for coming out. Yeah, I'm getting there. This whole day is this whole day is literally about this. It's about bringing people out who haven't had the opportunity to do it for real. And here we are doing it. Don't don't shy away from your dreams and your goals, guys, because a lot of them are probably more obtainable than you think. Having said all that, we're going to kill the stream here. Thank you for joining in. I hope you have a very safe new year, a very happy one, and I will see you guys in the future. Peace and goodbye once I hit the off button.